That's pretty cool. How does it do that? Just enjoy the magic, dude. Yo! Guys, 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 we've got a colossal blunder on our hand right now. We've got to deal with this right now. Stevie, Stevie, can't you see I'm in the middle of directing a TV show here? Dude, Eagle and Hawk are pissed. It says right here in their contract, I don't know how we missed it, they must have a fantasy woman deliver their catering food in their dressing room. Uh, how are we going to find a fantasy woman last minute like that? I don't know, Eric. How will we find one? Oh, no, 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 not me. This is my fourth time this month. Forget it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I did it last time. It's your turn. Steelbird is on the case. Wig's in the top drawer. Hey, how you doing? I'm Stevie Solace, and welcome to Arbor Live. First tonight, we bring you a band that has won more awards than any band I know, even a Canadian Juno. They are Eagle and Hawk. We also have a new band that's helping to reinvent the power rock sounds of bands like ACDC. They're called Floor 13. And for our last guitar player, I'm not quite sure how to intro him, except by saying maybe he's a bit of a p But only I can say that, because he is me. Tonight, Arbor Live is gonna let me rock a little bit. So sit back, stay tuned, and let's do this thing called Arbor Live.
I'm here with Kaz from Floor 13, but hold on, he's a good looking chap. We're gonna get the old model pose going. Here we go. Ready? Slow turn, baby. So Kaz, I want to know how a band from Winnipeg gets called Floor 13. I, I, I live in Los Angeles I, part time, I don't know, but I don't even know. Is there a building in Winnipeg that has 13 floors? There was one, actually. I think there's one. I don't know. Maybe there's two. I'm not sure. I know that I saw one one time. So that was the inspiration? No. But it, but it should have been. That would have been a better story. Keep it going up. Everywhere I go, well, someone's looking after me. It actually goes back quite a ways because the guys, uh, the drummer and the um, guitar player, they've been friends for a long time, and I think it was it goes back even to when they were little kids and that sort of thing. So I think, uh, but it, it suits the band well, I guess, just behind the meeting, behind that mystery and uh, um, um, I guess. And all the really Winnipeg know. madness. <laughs> okay, I got you. You guys are from Winnipeg, invited over to London, England to play. That's yeah. got to be a cool thing for any band, let alone a band from uh, Winnipeg. I think that's awesome. Tell oh, me yeah. all about that. Yeah, well, we haven't, uh, you know, none of us have, uh, you know, have been to London and that sort of thing, so being invited over there already. But, I mean, I, it's just, uh, I think, really cool, too, because whenever we've done festivals or whenever we've done, uh, um, you know, things around Canada and met other bands from, from England or, or from the UK in general, we just get such a good vibe off of them. So being to be able to go over there and, and be part of a big thing like Muse Expo, it's uh, it's going to be awesome. You, know. you guys will be representing Manitoba, right? That's, Hell yeah. I think that's hot.
Lee Salas is one of those rare success stories that you can only read about in some fictional novel. Played with everybody. He knows the stadiums, sailed through the air on Lear jets, and has played with the cream of the crop from Rod Stewart to Mick Jagger to George Clinton to Buddy Miles. I mean, this, this dude's phenomenal. I've heard rumors. I don't know if it's true, but somebody told me Meatloaf was here. Does that look like Meatloaf to you? Oh, hey, the sirens are screaming and the fires are howling way down in Milwaukee tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back here. Hold on. If you're a guy and you, and you play music in the native world, you, ne you never have a hope of winning an award because there's a band called Eagle and Hawk. They win all the awards, all the women love them. And, and if you're both if, married, <laughs> well, I'm not saying they love them back. I'm just saying the women love them. And you hear them screaming and yelling, and it's actually their 10th anniversary. So why don't you check out Eagle and Hawk? Hello, world. We are Eagle and Hawk. Yeah, Eagle and Hawk. They've been around for a long time. Hundreds of years, maybe thousands. We're not sure, but you know that ancestor relationship has never left us. You know, it's always there within our music, and certainly within the music of Eagle and Hawk. They seem to have embraced all forms of their style of rock music, and combining it with the sensibilities of, of the native expression and the native experience, and they're so loved wherever they play. I want to know about 10 years, 10 years of rocking, not just the res, but rocking the mainstream too. Let's hear about some of that. Well, where did it start? We started off 10 years ago, and you know what? We did our first little gig in a little town called Paris, France. Called up Jay, and I says, Jay, we've got a couple of gigs, and uh, he says, where, do, where are we going to go? And I says, well, you know what? Uh, we've got a little tour uh, set up, and we're going to go to Europe, and uh, back, back in the day, the early days, uh, that's where we cut our teeth, and we, we did a little rocking in the olden days in uh, the late 90s. Hey, did you like it? We uh, met. Parlez-vous parlez français? Est-ce que je peux manger? De... We uh, actually met at uh, Musicians Hockey League in uh, Winnipeg, and uh, it's such a very small, incestuous uh, music community down there. That uh, we all kind of known each other and played with each other. You know what I mean? When you guys rock your shows, it's like I'm a big party, big. Like everybody feels involved, and uh, you play the Indian cars. Is uh, you guys played that song? I've never heard that song sound so good. Is that like your thing in the end? Do you always rock that and get the whole crowd singing like that? I th I personally think it's one of the quintessential uh, Nietzsche rock songs, and uh, we've kind of taken it from one of our good buddies and uh, made it our own. And um, what we like to do, because usually we end off the uh, Indian Summer Festival in Milwaukee, and. Uh, we like to have a little bit of a shenanigans at the end of the night, so whoever's around for jamming or getting the crowd up here, it's uh, it's uh, part of the uh, the E and H show, and uh, try to make it bigger and better every year. And
Steel Bird entering. Hey guys. Hi, you how you must, doing? Hey, you must be Eagle. You must be Mr. Hawk. No, no, it's no, no. Of that's it. just oh, the name. That's you're the name Hawk of and you're Eagle. No, ah, no, no. no, no, no. Ah, no. oh, you are Hawk and you're Eagle. Listen. Yeah. To it's the name of the band, okay? I'm sick of that question. Steel Bird will make sure that nobody mistakes you for Eagle, or you for Hawk, or you for Hawk, or you for Eagle. One of those two guys showing up. Dude, you're not listening. It's the name of the band. Name of the band. Guys, I'm here for you. Steel Bird will deliver. Whatever's on the rider that's not here, just tell me and I'll make you happy. What is it? We're supposed to have uh, stuff in our rider. We, like, we were supposed to have this great looking woman deliver this stuff. You know, all right, uh, all right, I remember the lady Caterer that was on the Model, rider. Good looking. There's a little mix up. She got caught up in traffic, but she is on the way right now. And I gotta tell you, I checked her out online. She's gonna meet your catering needs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, you guys wear the glasses on stage? Well, you know, no, like, we are legally blind without these things. Yeah. Are those smudges on your. No, 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 they're little smudgy, wait, 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 smudgy. Careful, man. Let me right? see yours. No, 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 I accidentally smashed your glasses with my crazy sneezing attack brought on by my allergies. Not to worry, not to worry. Steel Bird will deliver. I'm gonna go to Lens Crafters, I'm gonna get you a new set of glasses, I'm gonna do it in 30 minutes or less, or your glasses are free. <laughs> and let me tell you something else, guys. I know for a fact that your lady caterer is here right now to cater to your needs, and I'm gonna send her right in. She better be hot. She oh, hot? yeah, I saw her. All right, high five, high five, she high five. Hot. Hey, hi, okay, low five, high five. <laughs>
again. <laughs> all right, that's all I got to say. I'm just happy my guys are here. We're gonna rock a little bit. We haven't played since last yeah. year. We'll see what we get. I'm itching for it. Check this There's out. There's a cream for that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Their, their melodies are infectious. They've got hit song after hit song. They've got so many underrated albums and just uh, real true performances that uh, they exude it naturally. And that's something that's often seen with the performers in our communities. That uh, Eagle and Hawk is really representative of that type of honesty. We got a pretty good, uh, exciting year coming up. I don't know if we, can we talk about that little yeah, thing. Sure yeah, we got. Uh, we're, you know, humility is a is a quality I greatly admire in a lot of people, and uh, so I say this with the uh, utmost humility. But uh, we we're working on a show uh, with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra to uh, come out uh, in April or May next year, and uh, I do believe we'll be one of the first, if not the first. Full concert. Full concert with uh, Nietzsche Rock Band. I mean, there's a lot of great artists, a lot of native artists that have done shows with Symphony, and uh, so we're going to do like a 70-minute concert, full Symphony, and it's it's actually a lot of work. I didn't even realize, but you have to get all your music scored for Symphony. I mean, there's like what 65, 70 piece folks in the Symphony, and uh, so we started scoring it. And we, we hired a couple of folks, uh, maestro orchestrators, and uh, got them scoring it. And, it is quite a bit of a task to do it, and so we listen to some playback stuff and I'm thinking, man, we got to fall into the pocket with this. I want to be the guy that stands there in the tuxedo and with the sticks. You know, he never does anything, yeah, right? Cool. The maestro but, guy. The maestro guy. Can yeah. I be the maestro? You can be the maestro. You can. I really want to be the maestro. Would that be hot? It would be hot. That would be a that would be the feather in my career. That would be good. You know what the one thing I don't really like about that plan, Steve, is that you're gonna be the one getting all the girls at the end of the show. Yeah, you know what? Check this out. I'm getting really old. I'm getting so old that I had to get a TV show, so <laughs> I'm too old to rock now. So I gotta leave it up to you kids. You kids. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. We got kids, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, I have the face for radio, so maybe in a couple years I'll be doing a, a, maybe an NCI show or something like that. <laughs> I'm sure everyone in Canada already knows Eagle and Hawk, and everybody on APTN knows Eagle and Hawk, but I'm sure everybody in the world needs to know Eagle and Hawk. These girls, uh, these guys kind of tear it up, and they do, uh, they do the Indian car song. It sounds like ACDC doing it. You got to hear it. All right, you guys, say goodbye. 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 Thank you very much, you. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Let's move.
Now, you make your own clothes, right? You're like, are you like, would you say you're a designer or a stylist or a little bit of both? No, nah, well, I made a little bit of both. Do a little, do a little turn, show the guys your jacket here. You know, if we had the runway, I'd do the full thing. So. Could you do it like full on? Oh, yeah, steps, yeah. I just lips. need that. Down. Can you do the lips? The lip? Blue steel? That's Blue hot. Steel. When I was young, I had the lips. No, I, I basically just like, just put some creativity to, you know, I think we all do just put some creativity to the, the clothes that we wear. And I, uh, I like to do thrift shop and I like to go buy stuff and just say, what can I change to make it more my own, and more original? And so, whether it's burning some holes in some stuff or spray painting some stuff on, you know, the back of jackets or whatever. So when you go to the UK and you're in London, England, and all the girls are screaming, Cause I love your clothes. Are you going to pass out your cards that say, this is my rock band card and this is my designer card? I'm going to pass out cards that say we should make out. Have you been to the UK before? Might not be a good idea. Just kidding, my friends in London. You guys have a new record out, yeah? Yeah, a uh, new uh, debut album. Mmm. Wanna pull it off? Is that the. Four M's. Mmm. So what am I doing? Is that mm. how you do it? Mmm. Mm. 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 Brand new album? That's, that's really Who produced it? Uh, Brandon Friesen at 441 Studios. Brandon Friesen from yeah. Manitoba, from right here from Winnipeg, Canada? Yeah, well, we actually have two producers on it, um, uh, Mike Dare as well, but. Why well, talk about him when you've well, got Brandon Friesen? I know. No, I'm kidding, sorry. <laughs> No, Brandon Freeze is quite talented. I think he's like the secret weapon these days. We did, you know, we're really happy with the album. It's, it's been a good two, probably two and a half years, uh, no, about two years in, in the making. And, uh, um, you know, it just it took time for a reason because of the quality and the sound. And, you know, we're just happy with everything on it. Jay, I need you to be honest with me. Did you leave my guitar on on the stage again because that battery's low? You know, man, it's all taken care of. I got nothing to do with your stuff. Don't worry about it. Look me in the eye and tell me that. I am looking at you in the eye. Hey guys, my name's Erica, the supermodel caterer you requested as per your writer. Hello, sunshine. I'll tell oh, you what you can do. Smoky, uh, Voice, like Demi Moore, I like that, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I got you your and watermelon TP and your fucking juju beans and your hippie tea. <clears throat> what do you want? I'll tell you what I want, sugar. My back is a little tight from carrying our four Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards last night, and these shoulders could use a rubbing. All right. Let's get this over with. Yeah. Hi, uh, maybe uh, I can loosen up your back a little bit too. Uh, <laughs> What do you think about Jesus? Oh, ho, ho, you know bit. what? At this point, I don't give a shit. Jesus, you're a little taller than I expected. Kind of like an Amazon thing going on here. It's pretty, <laughs> wow. I don't do happy endings. Too late. <laughs>